It's become somewhat commonplace for folks during Lent to, to give up Facebook or give up social media uh, as their Lenten sacrifice. And I, I love that. I think that's totally great. Uh, what I want to suggest, though, is a way for those of us who will remain engaged uh, you know, online, their social media networks, whether it's Facebook or Twitter or Snapchat or Instagram, a way to actually still honor the season of Lent, uh, but stay engaged uh, online. Kind of like a Lenten, uh, like a Lenten practice uh, for our life together online. And, and this, this is what I want to suggest, is that when I come across something in my feed that sets me off, <laughs> instead of jumping on it right there and then and reacting and responding and going after it, I'm gonna make a sacrifice of time. Call it 10 minutes, a 10 minute sacrifice of time. And maybe it means I continue to scroll through my feed or I put the phone down or close my laptop and do something else and just move away. And give myself some space to ask these two real simple questions about what's going on in my own heart and my mind, my soul. One, with relationship to the thing that's setting me off. First, is this a topic I actually care about? And second, maybe more importantly, is this person who's written this or posted this someone I actually care about? So is this a topic of, that, that I actually care about? Is this is this an area in my life where I'm I'm already invested? I'm giving time, energy, money, like I'm spiritually invested. Is this is this something I really care about, a place I really do have maybe even influence? And is this a person I've got an existing relationship? Do I honestly care how they live and how they think? Or am I just annoyed that they're wrong about something? And if I can't answer yes to those questions, to both those questions, that this is an area that I actually care about, a topic I actually care about and I'm invested in, and this is a person whose life I care about and like how they live and think really does matter to me for their sake, then I'm not gonna respond. I'm gonna move away. I'm gonna step back. I'm gonna like allow that energy, that emotional, spiritual energy, and that time to be committed to things that I do care about and people that I already do care about. Now, if I do answer yes to those two things, this is a topic I care about, this is a person I care about, then I'm gonna continue that sacrifice of time. Maybe I've still got some time left in my 10 minutes, and I'm gonna use the rest of that time to actually articulate a response that honors the person on the other side of that post. That I'm not gonna react to the thing said, I wanna talk to the person who said it, which means I'm gonna put something together that asks questions. Now that's a sacrifice in and itself, because what I want to do is say what's on my mind, and instead I'm gonna sacrifice my right to come after you and tell you you're wrong, and instead I'm gonna offer you the, the chance to articulate like what's actually behind that. Now, this whole thing, the, the, the sacrifice of time and, and asking those two questions, do I care about the topic, do I care about the person, and then the sacrifice of, of my sort of exercise of power, this is like traditional Lenten practice. Because almost any Lenten practice basically comes down to the, these, these sort of two elements, that it's a recognition and a celebration of my limits, that I'm limited. I only have so much time, I only have so much energy, I only have so much influence and power. So that I can then, like knowing that, I can then f focus the time, the energy, the finances, like the, my life on the things where I actually can make a difference. It also does this thing where I get to recognize the full humanity of the people that I'm in relationship with. That in fact, I get to have relationships with people in the world and I get to have relationships and conversation online. I don't have to, think about that. I don't have to have relationships with people online. I get to. And this Lenten practice might help us to focus, to recognize our limitations online and to recognize the gift of one another online. So consider that as a Lenten practice uh, between now uh, and Easter Sunday, to give that sacrifice of time, to give that sacrifice of your power and influence, to recognize your limitations and the humanity of those we get to be in relationship with.